Um, and you mentioned the impact of new variants as well. We know, of course, uh, that this is something that scientists and government are very concerned about. What is the latest data uh, on the South African, the Brazilian variant? Well, there is evidence that the measures that we're taking, both the enhanced contact tracing and also the stricter measures at the border, there is evidence that these are working uh, and that uh, we've now got a much stronger uh, vigilance in place because everybody coming into the country has to be tested and we sequence the results of those tests. Um, and we've also got a, a very strong set of actions working with the local authorities, very specifically in the areas where a new variant is found. And we hit it hard and send in that enhanced contact tracing uh, and go door to door. So we've now got this program in place to be able to really, really uh, try to stamp out a new variant where we see it. And there is evidence that that is working. Uh, so evidence that that's what, sorry, does that mean that you think the cases might be coming down of those variants? Uh, yes, I do. And we publish data on this. Uh, so everybody will be able to, to see that. So uh, there is evidence of that. Um, but we, I, I want to be cautious here because we've got to be vigilant because if one of these new variants uh, doesn't respond to the vaccine as well as the others, as well as the old, you know, the 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 the, the variant uh, that is now the standard variant in the UK, which is the Kent variant, um, the um, then if that's the case, then we've got, uh, you know, then that's obviously a very serious risk for the vaccination program. Uh, now, we're doing a lot of work to find out the impact of the vaccine on these new variants, uh, especially the ones discovered in Brazil and South Africa, uh, because clearly knowing the answer to that question it is critical to understanding how much of a risk the new variants pose. But the good news is that the actions that we're taking right now do appear to be working.